The title of the exhibition is called um, Scapes. I mean, the originally all of this bodywork are horizon line works, and then individually they have titles mm -hmm. such as somewhere over East Africa or somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean or somewhere over Malaysia or somewhere over China. Scapes really was just a way to um, encompass any sort of landscape or seascape or skyscape or metaverse scape. I think what's really important about these works is that they feel very digitalized. They are almost like abstract paintings of the metaverse or the digital world. And so you'll see in these scapes, these kind of almost like finger marks or smearing of, a, of what you know, could be translated as like the marks on your screen, on your iPhone, on your tablet. Um, but of course, they're natural nods to, you know, sand or, or, or wind blowing over a, a, a plane or, um, you know, the surface of Mars or the moon or not only can these be physical scapes, they can be internal scapes. You know, when you shut your eyes um, and you meditate or you go into some transcendental meditation, um, you'll often see colours and you can feel yourself shift into different um, levels within your meditation. I think it was an artist today making dematerialized artwork that may have been made on a computer and materializing it in itself is a sort of transitional um, experience not just only for me but um, hopefully for the for the viewer as well. Um, the more we get disconnected maybe from ourselves, from nature, um, in a more sort of dystopian, dystopian or urban landscape. Uh, I think it more and more important that um, we reconnect with materiality, use our hands. There is no perfect A to B. There's a lot of things in between A and B. I think that's always where the poetry lies, is between A and B.